Hello there. A good day to you and welcome to this session of uh, introduction to Eagle Algo Auto Trading System. This is uh, mainly for the Mirami followers who are following this uh, SP account. Um, I thought it would be good for me to, um, to have this session so that uh, we can have our followers have a better understanding on the, how this Eagle Algo Auto is being traded so that uh, when you're following the account, you have a better ideas and then uh, you won't be taking any drastic actions all right, without understanding uh, what this account is uh, all about. So hopefully for the next uh, few minutes of sharing, I will be able to give you a better understanding on uh, how this uh, particular system works. All right, Eagle Algo Auto, which you can easily find it in the uh, Miramis uh, SP accounts. Right, so what is uh, Eagle Algo Auto Trading System? Now this is a automated trading system using robot, right? And then uh, the minimum followers account size is at least a thousand, okay? You need to have at least a thousand to, to follow the account, right? Of course you can have more than that, um, right? Yeah, but invest something that you are comfortable. And the trading style is uh, we're using proprietary trading strategies, uh, focus on market reversal. So what is market reversal? Market reversal is, we, we are talking about, you know, when a, a pair has gone uh, either up or down for a season, for a period of time, and then, you know, uh, the strength is, momentum has been uh, reduced and uh, it's about to come back down, right? So this is what we talk about reversal, right? So essentially it is also a swing trading. So when we talk about swing trading, we are looking into at least a position you can hold for days, all right? Uh, occasionally the, the position, we can just close it uh, for, for, for special reasons. Otherwise you do expect uh, when a position is entered, all right, you expect it to hold for days. And most of the time, a particular pair that we have selected um, on the average per month, we might only have two to three trading opportunities for that particular pair. And later on, I will explain to you why I say so, okay? Now, uh, secondly, the technical analysis, we are using MACD as well as a customized indicator that focus on distribution and accumulation channel. So I've got a, a additional indicator that I customized to help us to determine the distribution and accumulation. Now what is distribution and accumulation? Distribution channel, this is where primarily when a, a pair has gone up, right? The price has been going up and you come to a point whereby, right? Institutions or even fund managers beginning to start to sell, start to sell, but, it's, but it hasn't come down yet, but it's only beginning to start to sell only. So this way you talk about distribution channel, right? That you're, you're at the top of the, the, the currency pair. And accumulation channel this is where you're at the bottom of the currency pair where, where the currency has been coming down, right? For a, a season period of time, right? And then you will see peep by buyers institution, uh, uh, SD or even fund managers, the beginning to start accumulate, start to buy, right? So this is what we talk about, accumulation channel, okay? So essentially um, pairs are entered, right? Entries are, are done such a zone level, okay? And uh, number three, lot size. Well, lot size, it ranges from 0 0.01 lot to uh, 0 0.06 lot size, all right, for every 1,000 account size. That means, now potentially, if your account is a 2,000 account, that means your, your lot size can start with 0 0.02. If yours is a 3,000 account, it can start off with 0 0.03, okay? So this is how it actually goes about, all right? Um, now, 0 0.01 for 1,000 account size, this is the minimum right, due to MP4 as well as to be effective in terms of the, uh, the entire trading system. How about trading pairs? Uh, multiple trading pairs, uh, right? Um, well, we, we talk about potentially, uh, you can trade up to maybe, you know, five pairs or even up to 10 pairs, depending on the market, if the market ever give it to us, okay? So there will be a weekly scanning of trading pairs to determine highest winning trade probability. So every week, right? The system will scan, right? Which are the trade, uh, which are the pairs that that has a high winning rate? Which are the pair has has reached near the accumulation and uh, distribution channel, right? Either the top or the bottom, right? And then this is where uh, uh, the system will be able to uh, stand by such a pair. So trading pairs will change, okay, uh, once a week or twice a week, right? Depending on the, the market, right? And um, trading time frame we are looking into mostly of. Uh, a one hour time frame. The main system will enter right, based on the hourly. Occasionally, 
right? Uh, I might set up a system for a 15 minutes or 30 minutes time frame. Again, depending on the respective trading pairs, right? Are they reaching the distribution or even the uh, accumulation channel? Okay. Now, account management style uh, is basically discretionary management with manual intervention wherever it's needed. Okay. So, well, um, I will still be looking into the market, right? And then this is where if there are times that trade needed to take profit early or even stop loss, uh, this is where manual intervention will come in. Otherwise, uh, the system will have an auto trigger for profit taking itself. All right. And uh, yes, there will not be any stop loss level because uh, any trade losses, right? A trade recovery plan will come in via additional entry. And later on, I will explain to you the reason why uh, there won't be a hard stop loss. But of course, if we see that a particular trade has been trending all the way and, and it seems like there isn't any distribution or accumulation um, being take place, then you know um, a manual stop loss can actually come in to stop the entire uh, pair, right? A particular pair, right? So this is um, essentially the trading uh, system here. Okay, and right now I'm going to show you the account here, all right, for this particular account. Now, what you're seeing here is the live account of the Eagle Algo Auto, right? And um, okay, let me just give show you the, okay, currently there is a floating loss of 84, all right? The balance is 834, equity is 750. Right, and uh, when was this account started? Let me just go into the account history for you. Okay, now if you look into the account history here, right, okay, it started at a $500 deposit. If you can see over here, $500 deposit, that was on the 27th of December, right? And the first trade started on the 29th of December. So today we are talking about um, January one month and probably about five weeks or six weeks, right? Five to six weeks, okay, for this account, right? Five to six week account. These are all the trading records here, all right? And we have a profit of 334 from a $500 account. So that is uh, above a 50% uh, return within uh, the last uh, six weeks, right? And um, yeah, as it is right now is, uh, 750 so there's at least uh, 50 percent right 250 dollars profit out of the 500 dollars uh, account size okay and i would like to show you also uh, even better statistics here to give you a better information on this account right yep this is account okay this is my uh, personal account here all right uh, leverage we are using aims fx leverage 200 times okay like i said this account started at 500 dollars and it was on the 27th of December last year, right? And these are the trading records over here. Okay, now, so these are the closing trade profit 334, which I mentioned earlier. And these are the open trade, which you have also seen earlier on, right? Currently, okay. And now this is a chart. I think these are statistics that's more uh, interesting, which I, want, I just want to go through with you, right? I just want to go through with you on this thing here. Okay, now this is the, the growth of it, right? Starting at 500, okay? And then, um, yeah, $500, all right? Closing trade, balance, as you can see here, right? This is a floating itself, okay? Um, this this was taken a bit earlier, so, so you're seeing 754. Huh? Now, a few things that you have to take note here. Um, now, most of the time, people are interested in what, the, what kind of drawdown, you know, where, uh, where a uh, EA is concerned or when a trading strategy is concerned. Now, this is uh, this information is abstract from the MT4 information here. So the maximum drawdown here we are looking at based on this record here, okay, is um, $32.59. That is about 3.96%, okay, right, 3.96%, all right. And the um, expected payoff is 2.41, as you can see here, 2.41. And uh, the, the uh, profit factor is 3.77 and absolute drawdown is 9.76. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if it makes any sense to you, right? Maybe for some of you who are new, you might not understand what are all these numbers about, uh, but I just want to show you the figures, all right? So total trade has been traded is 139. Okay, out of 139, okay, let's look into the profit trades here. 
profit trades here, we have 102. That is about 73%, 73.38% of profit trades. And we left with 26.62% are losses trade. All right, but uh, yeah, this is uh, the performance of the account over the last, uh, well, I suppose it's uh, 100 and, uh, no, I think it's less than, it's not 139 days, okay. Um, like I say, it's about uh, five, five and a half weeks to six weeks right, of, uh, of trading, All right? So, okay, this is the account statistics. All right, just give you a few moments for you to just have a closer look at these statistics here. All right? Profit trades, this amount, right? The air, the largest profit trade is $37. Largest loss is 28. The average profit trade is $4.47. Losses is 3.27. Um, now, mind you, uh, this is based on a $500 account, okay? Now, if your account size, right, is like a ten times, that means five thousand. So you expect this number also multiplied by ten. All right. Earlier on, I mentioned the minimum account size is one thousand. All right, and we started at zero point zero one uh, lot size. If your account size is ten thousand dollars account, so you do expect that uh, whatever you see here in terms of the numbers, right, you have to you'll be multiplied by ten times. But of course, in terms of the um, um, this uh, winning trade, right, percentage winning trade, all this will still remain the same, okay? All right, so this is how it goes. Now, I want to show you the accounts, all right? I want to give you the logic.